Tonight, I'm gonna explain the major features in of each update, that are in my opinion, relevant to editors in detail with this AI voice. I'm gonna show a screenshot or a list of other features that aren't as relevant for 5 seconds. I apologize if I forgot a feature or more, Adobe's new features, posts aren't that detailed. 2020 is the version most editors use, it's the most reliable meaning it won't crash as often as other versions. It is much faster than 2019, performance has been said to grow by 10 to 25% while memory usage has decreased by almost 70%. I am pretty sure every popular plugin is available for A2020. Twenty twenty one has improved Roto Brush, Roto Brush Two, and improved Content Aware Fill. Other than that, there's nothing worth mentioning. Twenty twenty two adds multi frame rendering. You see performance gains on your system from preview to export, and includes a variety of features that enable you to optimize the computer for peak performance. It also adds speculative preview, when you're idle it will continue to work in the background. It basically automatically renders a preview of your composition. AE 2022 V22.3 introduces native support for Apple Macs with M1, M2, etc. Basically if you have one of those Macs your A will be a lot faster. To use most plugins you will still have to run it through Rosetta, which is how you can use other versions. So there won't be a big difference, not worth unless you don't use plugins, you find M1, M2, etc. compatible plugins. Twenty twenty three's biggest feature in my opinion is that native H.264 returns. So now you don't have to use Media Encoder to render in H.264. What that means is you can render MP4 and you won't have to convert it. Other than that there's nothing else really worth mentioning. 2024 is Adobe's latest After Effects version at the moment, February 2024. There really aren't a lot of new features worth mentioning. If you're unsure what version to get, either get 2020, most stable, compatible with most if not all popular plugins, or 2024 since it's the latest release. 